Hey Bruce from Safari, you've seen the lead in now with the Ocker and meet Dave again. How are you today, Dave? Very well, Bruce. And we're now a couple of years into the build here, Dave, is that correct? Almost exactly two years, Bruce. Yeah, since we came in and Dave's got a 48 volt winch. He's had a lot of technology in here. Just tell me where's your progress at and when are you leaving? We are probably 90% built. We're just waiting on canvas. Our first trip is Ocker Convention in March. And that's where? Where is On the, the Murray River in Victoria. All right, okay. Yeah. And the now we've added all the power system into this. And uh, just explain um, your, your concept of the cab and the camper. Oh, the, the, the cab we wanted to maintain 12 volts. Purely, it's easy to work on. You know, these are old trucks. Um, we didn't really want a lot of technology in here except for the screen and the Garmin, the head unit. A bit of technology there is nice with the music. The, the motorhome module is full tech. It utilizes all the digital switching from the Garmin system. Uh, and we're really happy with it. Very good, and it's all 24 volt. It is 24 volt. So exactly. a lot of people find that uh, confusing. I don't, of course, but you've got 12 volt, 24 and 48, all Correct. coexisting, and it's really having the best voltage in the best place. Yep. The yep. big advantage I see in your 24 volt is in the lifting of the roof. Yep. The current load on it is you know, half a 12 volt. Yep. It uh, just makes it so much easier to Correct. run. And uh, now let's have a look. So we talked about the display here. I'm now just going to zoom in. So you've seen this in here before, but we're all set on this. And just a reminder here, this can come off. You can take it into the fire, up into the bed. You can go back up on here as well. It resets every time we put it up there. It's changing from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. And then if we touch on here now, while that's going up, we've got on here navigation and we're going to get the the uh, satellites in here now so you can see where we are down here there's shipper drive and uh we come out of there garmin's famous for this so there's a software version update um the where to with the hema maps that we've got on here that i'd like to show everyone uh, you won't be using any dumping points though, no will you? no You've not with our with our composting toilet, toilet. fantastic item yeah designed by uh yours truly here but he's got everything else in here and uh, that we can go to. And we've got beach access, caravan. We won't be going to that. We'll be doing bush camping in this truck. So that's all in here. And then we've got in here the, uh, we come out of this. Then we've got the uh, sound system in here. Jewelry, um, Bluetooth to stream the music through. I'm going to edit that. And then finally, we've got our switches. And then Dave's going to have the IP camera here, which we haven't set up yet. So that will come into here and uh but anyway on the switching that we've got here now do we want to just start up and just see what scotty's doing there now so you can see on here now just take the revs up a little bit dave what we're doing on scotty here now is 23.79 what i've got to say dave how good is that bruce how good's that so you can see the uh, bed lifters at the back here in the ocker and he's put them on the outside to save space but just have a look at this for a clever design i think this is super clever so the bed's at the top so when the top lifts up it gives you access to the bed so when the top's down so uh, during the day lunch or breakfast he can just come straight in here and uh, they sit down over there that's the table the fridge and everything's going into over that side the toilet and the shower is going in here um, but by having the bed at the top up there means that you can use all the utility in here and it's only when you lift the top up that you crawl into bed at night um, i think it's just a fantastic design he's hiding the beer behind his back <laughs> look at this samson double crossing hey eh? yep. you did that 2018 all right very good now we've got the hatch open here and we're having a look inside here so we've got 600 amp hours of lithium over there there's the digital switching. So that's all the Garmin digital switching on the back wall. We've got a multi RS there, 6,000. Um, we've got down here 48 to 24s. So these two here are providing the 24 volt in the truck here and for all the switching. And then we've got our RCBOs. We've got electric hot water in here. Um, and that's our solo board over there. Everything else is wired up here. And uh, that's all on the outside and accessible, I have to say. How good's that? 